Hey guys, I am back and all around me is Christmas. Chase seriously took all the Christmas stuff that we had down the basement upstairs and it's, it's way more than I thought there ever was. I don't know how I didn't realize we had so much, but I need to start somewhere. I was trying to piece together themes. I need new window ties. Um, anyway, I was trying to piece together like themes and color schemes and stuff like that, but I really need to start somewhere because there's just a lot of stuff. So I'm going to start right here in our cozy room, whatever you want to call it. It's opposite wall of that video short that I did where I redid and put out the horse painting and all. So this is opposite of that. And I think right behind me is where I'm going to put our flock tree because I just redid that wall. And there's really no other places in here to put the tree. I'm hoping that it will cover up that TV because I cannot remove the TV from the wall. I'm hoping that it's big enough that you don't see the TV behind it. Um, we'll see. Maybe we will end up having to move it, but right now there is no way I'm moving it. I was very serious when I said that our whole front room just has a lot of Christmas in it right now. Um, anyway, I, I have to start somewhere, and, and so putting up this tree will definitely be, um, helpful in this room, even though there's just so much stuff. Let's do it. This is going to be our flock tree. I'm going to remove this plant and this record stand. I'm just going to push it this way for now, to be honest with you. All right, let's get it up. This is going to be my first flock tree that I've ever had. I bought it from Walmart when they had a Black Friday sale weeks ago. I am a Walmart member, so yeah, I bought that a while ago. And then the ornaments, I'm going with a whole brand for this tree, the exact same brand for everything. And it's called My Texas Home, also from Walmart. So the tree that is going to be in our living room is going to be our traditional tree. That's our family tree. That's where the gifts go on Christmas Eve. But since this one is going to be in here, I went with these like, they're going to look darker on camera because of the windows behind me. We have so many windows in here. I went with this like maroon red. I went with golds and browns. And then they have a lighter color red in here for the decorations and this is not just it we're going with some velvet things for the tree and all but again if you like traditional because i know a lot of people do that's going to be our living room tree it probably will be the next video i make for trees but this one is going to be our flocked one i believe this is a seven and a half foot tree i bought it so long ago i really i really don't remember the one that I put upstairs is the one that we normally use over here, and that's only six foot. So this is, I believe, a whole foot and a half taller. Hopefully it'll fit just right over here. <laughs> the flocking definitely comes off. Hopefully it's easy to vacuum. <sighs> I'm gonna stop and clean up around the camera so I could push the camera back, because obviously we're gonna need it. Chase said he'll run to Home Depot and get me some warm white lights for this. Um, I don't want to do multicolored. I think just warm white would look good for this year. And I'm going to fluff out the tree more because it needs it. And we will be right back. Okay, it is actually nighttime now. I stopped. We did dinner. I did a little bit of school. Learning about that wood right now. Very interesting. Um, but I actually ended up ordering the lights from Home Depot. Chase didn't want to run out. I don't blame him. It's Black Friday. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there. We went to one store today. We went to the pet store to get Bella's Axolotl a bigger tank. Not that I personally feel like it needs it, but she feels like it needs it. And I definitely want a 50% off deal on that. So anyway, I don't blame him. I ordered the lights off of Home Depot. I paid for delivery and they just came. Also, can't blame Home Depot. I'm sure they were super busy today. So we're going to put up these lights. I did get white instead of colored. And then I guess if we want colored one year, we could change it out, whatever. I thought white would look best on this tree with the ornaments. So now I need to get a stool because I'm not tall enough to reach the top of the tree. And we are going to put on all these lights. I don't know if I'll need two boxes. It's 300 lights per box. I think it's over 16 feet of lights. This is the biggest tree we've ever owned. Seven and a half foot. I did check on that. I also checked the instructions that came with the tree. And it said in the instructions that the tree did come with lights. But I double checked the box and it didn't. I don't know. It was really weird. But I can confirm I only paid $100 for this tree. It was 50% off on a Black Friday deal. Um, and for a hundred dollars, I think it's worth it. Two hundred dollars, I would not buy it at that. 
a lot of the branches are super loose and I looked and I did not find any way to tighten them. Um, so $100, I think it's a great deal. $200, I would buy something else. And I know in my last video, I was talking about quality, get quality products. Don't spend your money foolishly on things you're going to have to replace. But when you don't have hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy a Christmas tree, you get what you get. Let's make sure these work before I spend my time putting them on the tree. Yep, they work. And they are more of a warm light than a cool light. This is going to be a workout, trying to put these lights on this tree by myself. This is going to take me some time, so I'll be right back. Three things. Uh, first of all, I dislike the shadows that is going on now because of the thing with my glasses. Anyway, that's like the least of my problems. Second thing, you remember when I said like if we want to change it to clear lights, I might have said that like a minute ago, we would. I'm probably never going to change that, not to clear lights, to color lights, because that took forever to put those clear lights on, those white lights on. So um, this is going to stay this way for as long as I know it's going to stay this way. If I had two people, it probably would have been easier to do, but with just me and me being way shorter than the tree, it took a long time to put on those lights. And number three, I know there was at least one person out there that was like, do not undo all the bundles of lights until you need them because you see me, I sat here and I did all the bundles of lights and I tangled my own lights somehow. I don't even know. So next time I will make sure to do one bundle, put it around, undo the next bundle, put it around. That, anyway, the lights are on the trees. I am going to have to fix it as I put the ribbon on the tree, but that is going to be the next thing we do. I learned upstairs to put ribbon on after the lights, before the decorations. So we're going to do that this time. And if you're not a big fan of ribbon, when we do our family traditional tree, we're not using ribbon on that. So um, yeah, if you're not a big fan of it, the next tree will not have it. But this is the ribbon I got. Again, everything for this tree is my Texas home. Besides the tree and the lights itself, the lights came from Home Depot and the tree came from Walmart. I don't even know the brand. The brand is not even on the tree box. So this is the brand we're going with for the tree this year. Oh, the little bow is right there. It was actually on the thing. I love this ribbon. I'm so excited for it. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I don't think I have to say that. I don't think anybody sponsored me right now. Since I took that break from YouTube, I lost like everything, which is fine. I'm not that worried about it. What I kind of do back here is I tie the ribbon to the back of the tree where nobody's going to see this. This tree is going to be pushed back more that way. So nobody will really see half of the tree for sure. So I tie the ribbon to the back just to kind of keep it steady and keep it on there. And then I go around the tree. So I'm going to try to do horizontal again since I preferred that one on the last tree. And I think this red velvet will look really good on this tree as long as the flocking doesn't cover it completely. As long as it stays pretty red, I think it'll look nice. is on and i have to say i love that red velvet on there um i used both rolls completely and i didn't think i was going to because right about there is where the first roll ran out but i guess the tree is so round that it took another roll to do the other half so um yeah i used both and i love the way it looks on there and i and i love the way it looks on the flock tree i'm gonna fix right there real quick because that is that is definitely a bold spot i don't want Actually, you know what? I could probably fix that with a decoration. Put a decoration right there, an ornament right there, so that that bold spot's not there anymore. So let's get to putting some decorations on here. When did ornaments stop coming with the hooks to hang them up on? I know the last few years the ornaments I bought did not have them. I had to buy them separate. Um, but then they always come with hooks. Like when did that stop being a thing? I am going to take hooks off of older ornaments I have. I have new hooks coming in the mail, but it's not going to be here in time. And then I also bought two of these to put up. I thought that these would look really pretty with the other things on the tree. So let's put up the big ornaments first. And then we'll put up those big ones and then we'll put up the small ones. I'm not going to bore you guys with this completely because like I said, I'm taking hooks off of other ornaments that we've had before to put on these ones. So I'll show you me putting up a few, but 
Then I'm gonna cut to the big ones being on and we'll put on some of the other ones. There goes like what this one looks like. I thought that that was really pretty. I like that one. Well, you know what I like about the flock tree, which I don't normally see on the other trees, is that because it's flock and it's like so bushy, it hides the hook for the ornament. Now, I did see you can buy like really luxurious looking hooks for your ornaments. I'm not that type of person right now. Maybe in the future I will be. But with this tree, I wouldn't even mind because you don't see the hooks. Here goes another one that has a deer on it. We had a few deer in my neighbor's yard the other night. I thought it was so cool. They weren't scared of people either, which is weird. That always worries me when I see deer so close to my house because you are allowed to hunt here, not so close to homes. But whenever I see the deer, I'm like, are they gonna be, are they gonna be the next one to be taken out? I don't know. It always worries me. See, does that, yeah, see that fills in that gap right there. Now it does blend in with the red ribbon, but in person you can see the difference between the ribbon and that ball. All right, I'm gonna keep putting on the big ones and I will be back to show you what they look like. Okay, the big ornaments are up. It's time to put the little ones up. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these. Um, Maybe we will, we probably will. Let me just start doing it. Okay, that will make it easier to get the right colors that I want to use. I really, really adore these gold balls with the trees on them. I think they're my favorite out of all these patterns. They're really pretty. These ones are also really pretty with the snowflakes. By the way, these are like the shatterproof plastic ones. As I start hanging the little ones, I'm actually going to start hanging these too because I do see places that are empty that i'm not sure what color i would put there so this would definitely fill it in these are pretty cool do i think they're gonna last forever probably not they're definitely styrofoam with this fake looking snow sugar crystals on there you know what let me take that back these would last as long as i take care of them right it all matters how you put away your christmas stuff obviously something like this I didn't put away too well last year, and there is certain ones in here that are a little messed up, though the majority do look fine. There is a little bit that are messed up, mainly these. See that? So really, honestly, these would probably last. It all depends how you put them away and take care of them. Oh, and these come on a velvet rope. That's what I wish these ornaments came on, like the velvet um, ribbon. That would be really nice. I adore how this looks on here. It's probably still a little dark on the camera since it is nighttime out now, but um, I really like that. That is really pretty on there. I recommend those. Okay, I still have a lot of these small bowls left, but I also don't want the tree to look too crowded with too many bowls. I don't know. I just don't want it to look too crowded, so I may add more later, but for right now, I think that's as decorated as I'm going to leave it with the balls. I do wish I had more of those big um, berry looking ones, but I, I know I bought the only two left. I'm sure they did not restock. My Walmart doesn't restock very often. So maybe I'll go online, maybe I'll have it online. Anyway, I don't want it to look too crowded because I think the tree looks beautiful flocked in itself. So we're gonna put the ribbon on the bow one. Uh, this is gonna be the tree topper. It matches the ribbon, which is also gonna match the tree skirt thing that I bought. We're going to put this on and we might have to move some things around so that this actually hangs. Oh, they have like an Instagram and all. I don't have Instagram, so I wouldn't know anything about that. But on well, back here, it says they have Instagram. Okay, I think because the light is on directly above it, it's sitting right under like a spotlight. Um... It's going to look a little funny until I turn that off. But in person, it actually looks really good. It's weird how different it looks on camera than in person. But anyway, uh, I did not get a tree skirt. I got a tree collar. And I also didn't get a throw blanket this time. We used a throw blanket upstairs. We are going to use the tree collar for this one in the same 
pattern design as the ribbon and the tree topper. Oh, Velcro's. Nice. Hopefully the Velcro was strong enough to stay on. We have used tree collars before. I actually have one right next to me. It's a red one. Um, I think I got this from Home Depot. And it, hold, and it holds up well. So hopefully this one will hold up just as well as that one. That one is metal though. And this is more fabric. That's so cool. I love that pattern. I would get that for bed sheets if I could. I really love that. It reminds me of like Victorian stuff. So Victorian style. I should vacuum the floor before I put this down, but it is late. It is super late. Um, I'll vacuum tomorrow. Okay. You can't really tell it's under there that much because the tree is it's really full now i can see in person i see a little bit through the tree i don't know if you guys can on camera but it's way fuller than the one that was upstairs so love that okay guys i will give you guys a closer up look at it but this is our second tree for christmas this is our flock tree with the burgundy and the gold love it love the crushed velvet ribbon tree collar and bow on top something definitely different than the other one let me give you guys a closer up look of it I will also show you guys what it looks like with the lights dimmed a little bit in here since it is like nighttime outside. See, um, the lighting's a little weird. There goes the tree collar, our ribbon, our decorations. Love it. Let me turn off that light above it. There it goes with the majority of the lights off besides that, that one. You know what? I think we need to add one more thing to a tree. I was going to wait until I did a decorating, like decorating a house video, but I think it's, I think we need to do it now. So I have two choices of something to put next to the tree, and I really do want to put something next to the tree. My first choice is, my first choice is this mouse from Home Depot. When I made that video short of the Christmas stuff at Home Depot, I found him and I wanted to pick him up. So we picked him up. So either him... Let me take off his, his tag. I think I might have to put batteries in him if I take the tag off. So I'm going to leave the tag behind him because he does light up. Oh, he lights up different colors. That doesn't match the tree. I was thinking about putting him like, like there. Let me move you guys a little bit. Sorry for the stuff you can see right here. Still have to clean that up. But I was thinking of putting him like there. Or. I have I have two nutcrackers from both of them are from Home Depot, just different years, so they don't look identical. But I think these light up multicolored too. Oh, I took the batteries out. I need to put batteries in. And these are also blue. I was thinking of putting one like here, maybe, and maybe, the other one like here, let's see how they look. No, I think the mouse, I think the mouse is going to stay here. Now again, the mouse is multicolored, but the fact that this is like a cozy reading room type of deal, and it has a candle and cookies i think that that is going to look good here and i'll have to figure out a name for that little mouse but there he goes okay so there goes our tree i absolutely love it but our next tree is going to be a traditional real christmas tree that's going to be like our main one in the living room after that, I think Chase is doing one downstairs in his office, but that's going to be for him to decorate. The kids have their own, like, three-foot ones in their room. That's for them to decorate. I think after the traditional one, we'll have all the Christmas trees up. I don't know. We'll see. But this is definitely more Christmas trees than we normally do. So I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.